We clearly have some challenges in terms of greater amputation, greater prevalence, and very specific to the African American community. The Merck Foundation's funding of Diabetes for Life means everything for the Memphis Shelby County community and there were not funds specifically designated for this kind of comprehensive approach in the neighborhoods of Memphis. Outreach within the faith community has been effective because the church has long been a trusted source of information, education, and empowerment. As you think about the African American church that has always been the beacon of light and hope for social justice and social change, the Diabetes for Life program with the Memphis Healthy Churches has raised our awareness, has equipped us to help our parishioners deal with diabetes and even avoid diabetes. Diabetes for Life provides that opportunity for education for those who are underserved, who cannot either afford it because their insurance doesn't allow it, or for those providers in the community who just don't have the wherewithal to provide it. We've really probably done a great job on education. I think we've gotten to the head, but we haven't really gotten to the heart or the soul. Diabetes for Life is a group of people who can get to the soul. I had one man that came to me and he would sit in the back of the room. He looked at me and he said, well, I don't see any, anything that I need to talk about. I've got it and I'm gonna die with it. I said, bless your heart, all of us are going to die with something. It's the thing that happens from the time you're born until the time you die that's important. I think it's a great misconception among African-American men. We know about heart disease and heart problems, but we don't know the effects of, of, of diabetes on a family. I love this program because it has changed my family's life. Men are taking their health serious because they have so many positive role models, particularly within the faith community. I'm a veteran. Uh, I came to the program through the VA hospital. When I was first diagnosed, I kind of went through a depression stage because my dad was diagnosed at 59 with diabetes, but he also had a stroke. In many cases, people have decided that they would not even attempt to manage their diabetes because of things that they had heard from neighbors or, or family members. So we teach our congregations the important things that people need to know. When we would go back to our congregations, people that would tell us, I'm so glad that you taught me about diabetes. Diabetes isn't a disease that you can't conquer. There is power in what you can feel when there's hope in something.